So guess what happened an hour after I posted my herring video? Someone knocked on my door. It was a guy who looked familiar, but I am terrible with faces, so I couldn't figure out right away where I met him. But then he gave me this. And the moment I saw this package, I knew exactly what it was and who he was. The package was herring from the Netherlands, and there is only one person who think to bring me this wonderful gift. My student Max, who is from the Netherlands and who lives in a nearby town. I couldn't believe my luck. Max said that he saw my video, grabbed some herring from his freezer and drove over. The herring was simply to die for. It's not too salty with a perfectly silky texture and no bones. Since this herring is caught so young, all those pesky little bones that I've struggled with in my herring video were way too small to notice and all the big bones were removed before packaging. It's as easy as opening a package and popping this beauty in your mouth. This herring is so good, I can't bring myself to make herring in a fur coat with it. I feel like I want to taste every little bit of it and don't want anything to hide it. It's like Dutch sashimi. The most amazing thing is that now I can enjoy this herring anytime. Max gave me a website of a company called Van der Veen's, the Dutch store. It's located in Michigan, but they ship their products all over the US. This herring comes in two sizes, five ounces and 10 ounces. The shipping is not cheap, but if your order is relatively large, it ends up being not too bad per package. I'll give you an example. The first order I placed, I ordered three packages of 10 ounces each, which cost $45 plus $15 shipping. That's $60 for almost two pounds of fish, which is comparable to what my local fish markets charge for any fish that is good enough to eat raw. If you are new to this type of herring, here are some things to know. This herring is meant to be consumed raw. God forbid, don't cook it. Although herring can be prone to parasites, this one was frozen to kill them, so parasites are not a risk. This herring is lightly cured in salt and it helps a little with bacteria, but you should treat it like any other raw fish. Don't keep it in the fridge longer than 24 hours. Either eat it or freeze it. I would also be wary of ordering this herring during the warm months. In winter, it got to me with two days shipping, with the ice packs still mostly frozen. The herring itself defrosted, but was still very cold. I immediately put it in the freezer so that I can defrost each package when I need it. To defrost, I put a package in the fridge 24 hours before eating. I know that normally freezing and defrosting fish multiple times is a no-no, but herring has two things going for it. It's exceptionally fatty and it's salted. Both of those almost completely eliminate moisture loss after defrosting. Maybe I should make more videos about hard to get ingredients. You know what else I've been struggling with? Duck breasts. I can't find Long Island duck that wasn't previously frozen anywhere. Unlike herring, duck breasts do suffer a tremendous moisture loss after freezing. If you know where I can get fresh Long Island duck breasts in the Boston area, leave me a comment. Or if you want to show up at my door with a little ducky, I won't say no. Max, thank you for the best Christmas gift ever. Here are more thought-provoking culinary videos for you to check out. And if you are ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.